Guys, what are you doing? We told you a full first review again, so I told it to you. So, he's a dollar good fellow. Um, I only have three films to review. Who told you I had four? That blooming clown! <sighs> Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Smeg Chris Review. Let's start with some news. As you may have already heard, after the success of Jurassic World, they've decided upon another sequel. I know, I know, even I think it's a bad idea, and Jurassic Park's my favourite film of all time. However, my interest peaked when I heard that not only the stars of Jurassic World are returning, but so is Jeff Goldblum. Nothing is known about what the story will be, but we can bet that there will be awesome dinosaurs, dinosaurs fighting dinosaurs, and people running away from dinosaurs. Oh, and I've heard a rumour that the T-Rex from the original movie is returning. Maybe she will have mellowed out by now, laying on a beach, sipping on bloody velociraptors. <sighs> now onto a trailer, and I was actually going to watch Pirates of the Caribbean, the new one, and give you my genuine reaction. However, when I went to the cinema the other day, they showed it up on the screen. So, I'm going to have to get my laptop out now, and look for another trailer that I've not seen before. Let's hope it's not a Paramount one, huh? Don't fall off. And load. Blooming Firefox. I am waiting for the page to load up. <laughs> and you know why it's taking so long? It's because it is Outlook. Did that rhyme? Anyway, moving on to trailers. I've seen Baywatch. That looks good. Kill Switch. Uh, you're not going to be a Paramount movie, are you? I have no idea what it is, who's in it, or what. Let's have a watch. <laughs> is it safe? Of course it's not going to be. Okay, I'm, I'm still a little confused as to what's going on now. Is this a computer game? I don't know what's happening. Is he in a parallel universe or something? Um, okay. Still have no idea what's happening. What? I'm going to take a guess and say that the other place that he goes to is a parallel universe. I'm assuming. I didn't really know what was going on there. For all I know it's going to be really really good. Then again it could be really really bad. If you guys want to check out the trailer for yourselves, I'll put a link in the description below for you to click on and you can go watch it. If I remember. Now on to movie reviews. And yes, I have three for you. Oh, you okay. Just wait until I see that bloody clever of his. First up is Beauty and the Beast. I know it's been out a while, but it's still showing at the cinema. And I know why. It's a brilliant movie. There is lots of singing, beautiful imagery, a well-known great story, and fantastic actors. Emma Watson shines throughout. You can clearly see that she enjoyed playing this role. I really don't know much about the original, as I don't recall ever watching it, but I adored the story. I love the characters, even the villains. This is one treat of a movie, it was crafted so well. I have to admit though that some of the songs had me yawning, but I think that's because I had a hard day at work just before I went to see it. Yeah, music tends to soothe me, but it never got boring. I thoroughly enjoyed it and the fact that my face was hurting from all the smiling I did proved that. I give Beauty and the Beast a, a fun, family friendly, fantastic film. My second review is for Fast and Furious 8. Or the fate of the furious, I don't know. They call it one thing here and one thing everywhere else. Let me start by saying that if you thought that the previous films were daft, then this one's going to have you rolling your eyes. The worst offence was The Rock kicking an ice skating submarine torpedo towards an enemy car. Trust me, there are some silly moments. But despite all that, I actually enjoyed it. Another thing that the Fast and Furious franchise has is heart, a sense of family. Well, maybe not the third one. This one's no different, and that's why these movies work, especially this one. 
But there has been one thing that's been bothering me about this film, and I'll try to say this without revealing any spoilers. A bad guy from the previous films who killed off a beloved character suddenly becomes an ally and is forgiven by the end of the movie. Huh? Hey, not the daftest thing in the film, right? The rock kicking a torpedo? This film isn't everyone's cup of tea. In fact, a lot of people are saying that it should have ended at number 7. And they're right. Without Paul Walker, these films have lost a little of their magic. But that being said, I thought this was ludicrously good. Just not the best of the series. And it's not the worst either. Obviously, that's number 3. Oh, and it looks like it's not the last one either. Aggie Fast and Furious 8 -er. And a star for being the daftest film that isn't a comedy. My final review is for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And after the last few Marvel movies that have not been quite up to par, it's nice to see that one is. This sequel was brilliant. The interaction between the characters is perfect. The story doesn't become too muddled. And yet again, they picked awesome music. We find out the truth about Peter Quill and who his father is, which is great. Oh, and there are plenty of cameos in it too. One in particular was hilarious, but I won't spoil it for you here. As you would expect of a Marvel movie, there are some extras at the end, but you don't really need to stick around for them. My only disgruntlement is the fact that we don't know where this film fits in with the rest of the Marvel Cinematic Universe timeline. It starts off in 1918, then it skips forward 34 years, which is 2014. It's now 2017. What gives? But other than that, I can't find a fault with this film. And the opening title sequence, where you're seeing Groot dancing while there's a battle going off in the background. Perfect. I absolutely love that. If you want to watch something with heart, action, a great story and plenty of humour, then this one will fit that bill for you. I give Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 a... It's as good as the original. There it is! Let's tie him up with Christmas lights! <laughs> oh, jingle balls! After watching Fast and Furious 8, this no longer phases me. It's time for me to go. Thanks for watching and subscribing if you have. Until the next time, peace out. By the way, you might see some changes on this show very soon. For more details of that, go check out my last video, Potential Changes. I'll put a link in the description for that for you. Don't worry, I'm not getting rid of the show. I'm just talking about changing it. Hopefully for the better, we will see. So unprofessional, Fuddy. Keep looking at the camera. I'm sorry. Stop touching me. Okay.